Why am I so enraptured with the new film Miller's Girl, starring Martin Freeman and Jenna Ortega, who blur the lines between student and teacher? You can catch the full article review on our latinoslant.com. Go there right now and make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. The storytelling begins as a stylized dramatic play with Mr. Miller's bohemian classroom as our main setting. The four main characters, Mr. Miller, Cairo Sweet, Boris Fillmore, and Winnie enter and exit said room while giving nods to each other's relationships. Character development is a joy to hear through writer-director Jade Haley Barlett's witty dialogue. From the adults to teenagers, all are grounded, and yet there is a fantastical poetic narration to the film. Bartlett sets a great Tennessee goth look to the film as she plays with the idea of Cairo, of a lovesick aspiring writer, teenager to that of a poison ivy trope. It's very interesting as she can hold full conversations with the adults in the film despite her age and reclusive nature. She is that teenager who escaped into her favorite author's books and language, but has hardly any friends her age. And when we talk about language and the story, let's hear from the star herself, Jenna Ortega, at this year's Palm Springs Film Festival. I also want to mention is, if you have it in you, I feel like it's a good movie to watch multiple times because, again, the screenplay has been worked on for such a long time. It's so beautifully done. But there's so many bits and pieces um, that you'll find early on in the script. You'll find, you know, notes and symbolism and the kudzu. And just there's, there's so much that visually went into the film as well. Um, that I think that, you know, going into with, with fresh eyes you're not aware of. Um, but it, 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 it's so beautifully right. So let's get to the main conflict of the story. Cairo proposes her midterm project of taking on the works of author Henry Miller, which is banned from the school's curriculum, to make it her own. Mr. Miller says no at first, but knows that this type of project would catapult her in her writer's career. This is where both our characters will walk a tightrope with each other as they dive into the affair of the mind, painted in literature and fantasy. Unfortunately, they must come down to earth and those have consequences at the end of the film. Martin Freeman, as Miller, gives a very measured, likable performance. You see his passion to teach literature, but also being lost in his state of stale academia, ultimately not pursuing his own writing career. Freeman and Ortega have incredible dialogue back and forth with each other, which again make this film feel special. They have this incredible passion for each other's writing, which is really the foundation of the relationship. They recite each other's work, and define the characters she has created in her stories. Scenes of creative criticism are irresistible to watch as they both respect and love each other's talent for the word which makes the Henry Miller assignment make sense only to them. This film was both spellbinding and dangerous at the same time as Bartlett creates a unique story from the tropes of the old professor and young student falling in love or having an affair. An example of this is that Miller's wife is kept in the fold step by step, of his friendship and working relationship with Cairo. Beatrice at first luridly approves, as she herself is a writer living on the edge of alcoholism and complacency in her marriage and career. Now I want you to check out our article so you can read the ending of this, as I don't want to give spoilers in the video, I leave it up to you to read, but ultimately want you to watch Miller's Girl. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you smash the like, comment, and that you are subscribed. Remember, wherever you're at, keep your slang fuerte. Gracias.